automatic. Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Be... I also work for President Obama, uh, Vice President Biden, and I know that the problem with your plan is that it leaves 10 million people uncovered. Now, on the last debate stage in Detroit, you said that wasn't true when Senator Harris brought that up. There was a, a fact check of that, and they said that was true. Uh, you know, I grew up with a grandmother who had type 2 diabetes, and I watched her condition get worse and worse. Uh, but that whole time, she had Medicare. Uh, I want every single American family to have a strong Medicare plan available. If they choose to hold on to strong, solid private health insurance, I believe they should be able to do that. But the difference between what I support and what you support, Vice President Biden, is that you require them to opt in. And I would not require them to opt in. They would automatically be enrolled. They wouldn't have to buy in. That's a big difference, because Barack Obama's vision was not to leave 10 million people uncovered. They, he wanted every single person in this country covered. My plan would do that. Your plan would they not. They do not have to buy in. They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. to buy in. If she qualifies for Medicaid, Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? If you want Medicare, if you lose the job from your insurance company, from your employer, you automatically can buy into this. I can't believe that you said two minutes ago that they had to buy in, and now you're saying they don't have to buy. You're forgetting that. If you lose your job, for instance, his, his health care plan would not automatically enroll you. You would have to opt in. My health care plan would. That's a big difference. I'm fulfilling, fulfilling the legacy of Barack Obama, and you're not. Are you prepared to say tonight that you and President Obama made a mistake about deportations? Why should Latinos trust you? What Latinos should look at is comparing this president to the president we have is outrageous, number one. We didn't lock people up in cages. We didn't separate families. We didn't do all of those things, number one. Number two, number two, by the time, this is the president who came along with the DACA program. No one had ever done that before. This is the president who sent a le legislation to the desk saying he wants to find a pathway for the 11 million undocumented in the United States of America. This is the president who's done a great deal. So I'm proud to have served with him. You didn't answer the question. Well, the question I, I did did you the make question. A, no, did you make a mistake with those deportations? The president did the best thing that was able to be done at the How about time. you? I'm the Vice President of the United States. My problem with Vice President Biden, and Corey pointed this out last time, is every time something good about Barack Obama comes up, he says, oh, I was there, I was there, I was there. That's me, too. And then every time somebody questions part of the administration that we were both part of, he says, well, that was the president. I mean, he wants to take credit for Obama's work, but not have to answer to any questions. I mean, Vice President Biden, you have a... I don't get that.